All right, I'm live here. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do here is a two day split routine. I've been doing a lot of uh, three day a week, mostly three day a week, um, uh, full body routine, but uh, it is a flexible routine. And then, uh, I guess once you get more advanced or whatever, you can uh, um, mess around with uh, routines and stuff like that and keep them flexible. Uh, a lot of uh, top bodybuilders do that where they uh, train train uh, all different sorts of uh, muscle groups on different days and stuff like that. But um, so uh, one part of the flexibility of the routine is I can do like the beginning of the week or you can even do the end. Um, split it up into a two day routine um, where uh, I'm going to do uh, legs, back and biceps. And then the next day I'm going to do uh, chest, shoulders and triceps. So uh, this way I get to get more of that uh, volume in that I want. Um, I'm more specific, and then I did uh, squats last week. Um, I've been having uh, a lot of trouble with um, with squats, with doing all the stretching and everything. It really hurts the uh, hurts the stretching, but uh, I didn't do any stretching yesterday, so um, it should be good. But just uh, just in general, a lot of uh, stretching um, can really really hurt the squats because um, you need so much power, and the uh, hamstrings going all the way down full range of motion. But um, I uh, just kind of want to keep doing these squats for a little bit, but uh, I'll probably go back to um, uh, not doing them again once I, I get things going. I, I came off a two-week break, so it was enough time to um, uh, like not do stretching for a little while, so my, a lot of my uh, squat strength came back. But uh, So I started last week in the full body, um, a full body free weight workout. So um, uh, this week I plan to just go a little heavier, a little harder, more uh, more volume on the legs and everything as well as the uh, back and the biceps. So um, here we go, get started, full workouts. I'm gonna show, uh, warm up and everything, live, uh, live stream, uncut, so you see you know, what the uh, rest, rest times and everything looks like. So I don't have a, a squat rack, which is uh, can be a good thing, because it develops uh, uh, more like power strength and everything like that. I have to clean it up, uh, a lot more like general strength and stuff like that. And um, uh, keeps you from going like really, really heavy, but uh, you just get more more volume in. Um, I'm not too concerned with like uh, maximum power or anything right now, but it's good to build a general strength and development and everything. Um, but uh, this is a style I started a lot growing up. Of course, you can do a lot more with the rack, but this is pretty good for uh, developing a lot of like general strength. So uh, go ahead and get to it, and then just uh, keep pyramiding up in weight. So uh, here we go. No, and, uh, yeah, I had some fights last night, so I guess I'm a little amped up watching them, uh, watch them on uh, YouTube, just watch the replays and stuff like that. Uh, you always get it, for, get it for free a little later on. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit um, as I'm resting in between sets. Talk about different stuff. <clears throat> Let's uh, get started here. And uh, just do two pull-ups because I'm going to be doing multiple sets of pull-ups. But uh, first set, so the warm-up. Um, no subtracting weight unless I attach the band to me or anything. But so uh, just two two reps for the first set. Get everything warmed up. <clears throat> It's gonna heat up pretty fast. So um let's keep going up and wait. And uh, tonight I think I'm gonna do some uh, stretching and uh, record that so I can get some more uh, thumbnail photos. Need to get some good thumbnail photos of my mouth.
So this is going to be a 110 right here, the last uh, set was 60, the bar weighs 10. Um, and I'll just keep going up. Um, um, sitting down like this, I was I was squatting down, kind of funny, uh, talking to the camera first. So um, I love the warm-ups. You get warmed up in between sets, you do the work, and your body gets ready, blood gets circulating, gets prepared for uh, what you're going to do. But... Um, um, it's just real important, uh, you know, to maximize the squats, to, uh, to sit down and um, let everything uh, come to and get ready. <clears throat> um, so uh, that wasn't very hard at all, but I um, um, so still take my time a little bit and uh, get prepared for it. So, uh, yeah, last week I went up to uh, 145 for a set of 20. Um, which is like pretty light, but it's it's a lot harder when you clean it up. So uh, this week I'll, I'll go a little heavier. I'll see I'll see how it goes. Um, see how heavy I go with it. But uh, I should do a little heavier. <sighs> Before that, I was having a lot of trouble doing like 135 and a set of 10 because I just get this unbearable uh, burn in my hamstrings from uh, doing all the uh, splits and everything like that, like over splits and uh, bench splits and all that and all the kicks and everything and yoga and stuff. So um, I just really um, because uh, stretching can can weaken the muscles, so it's uh, they say uh, getting in shape, um, like building it up and tearing it down, build it up and tear it down, like uh, like they do a samurai sword where they heat it and cool it, heat it and cool it, and uh, like a melding type process of uh, getting in that optimal shape. So um, doing a little bit more building up here. So let me get to. It. <clears throat> All right, still warming up, still pretty easy. So that's 110. So. Let's see. So.
switch it on here and then chill out. I was thinking about making some more uh, movie review movies. Videos. Movie review videos. Um, got a lot of action movies and I like to hold the, uh, hold the video up. I only know one, but I've got more videos like to talk about and like lessons and stuff uh, from movies. <clears throat> Back before all this uh, internet and uh, social media stuff, it was, um, um, I guess, a lot less media. So uh, people really tried to uh, tell a story and uh, send messages and stuff like that, thinking. Just with the uh, action movies, action martial arts movies. Uh, don't mind doing some more of those. But um, uh, yeah, let's go up. That was a 140. Yeah. Okay. So um, pretty much super like uh, 12, maybe 15. And uh, keep going up from there. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, just a second more, and then I'll get to it. Oh, yeah, so, not too much. Got to head up this set. I wonder who's watching me. I got a viewer. <clears throat> Just a minute. And, uh, yeah, I'm real cognizant of uh, all the all the other movements that I'm doing um, before um, before I do the set, especially with like squats and stuff like that. Particularly squats. The other ones like you walk around, whatever. But squats, like I'm thinking, like I'm leaning, bending over, adjusting the waist, and everything like that. Like maybe that's gonna affect the set. Um, maybe a little bit, not too much. But the general rule is before squat workout, don't do any stretching the day before. Whew. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, everything's even. Got to be even on both sides. <coughs> Good to help. <laughs> Set me a little hot. 140. Yeah, it's 140.
Okay. All right, what's the with me? Okay, so I think I'm gonna shoot for about 12 on this one, and then I'll uh, probably go up in there, see how it feels. Hmm, my legs are feeling a lot more sore last week after, uh, after doing like just the two sets of 135 before I went to 140. Um, a lot of times with squats, you can just get instant soreness. <clears throat> feel, right, feel right away. Heaviness in the legs. <clears throat> Something I was going to say, I can't remember. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, talking. Talking takes a little breath, trying to build my breath up, think, kind of hyper, hyperventilate a little bit before the sets is getting prepared for it. But um, yes, yeah, so what I'm working out, um, particularly like the bodybuilding, weightlifting type workouts, you know, think about it like the main event, the main exercise, there's one main um, big exercise that you do. And uh, a lot of times that's the first exercise, the first power movement. But it's different if you do uh, like a um, pre-exhaust where you do like isolation movements and stuff like that um, before the uh, main work. So um, like if, uh, if I do like leg extensions and leg press and leg curls and all this and then do squats, then, then the squats is still the main event. The main event is like the main um, power movement. So the main thing is like work on that main event, that main exercise. And then after that, it's just pretty much all downhill. Still putting the work in and everything, but the main one, just just get that main exercise in, yeah, and that's the most important. So one sixty-five. So twenty pounds heavier than last week. <clears throat> That's pretty good, pretty good with putting over your head like that. There's a lot of general strength, explosiveness and stuff like that to, to uh, be able to do that, to clean it up and then press. Especially that behind the neck press can be a little difficult. I don't do behind the neck presses, but I do it with this when I do this. And it's not a strict press, it's more like from the legs. I do behind the neck uh, pull ups, but not behind the neck press. <clears throat> the dumbbells, you like you hold it, you know, like that. Most barbells, more like that. On the neck is behind the neck. <clears throat> Just doesn't feel right doing behind the neck uh, presses. Seems like uh, more brisk than a roller. But they're pretty decent. But you just uh, can't go as heavy, and then I just put you in like a pretty vulnerable position, which isn't like, necessarily a bad thing. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Mm. 
we do a lot of talking, fix your breath away. Bar has a 200 pound limit. It's on a 165 right now. Not too bad. Go no, for one more set this week. Hope the bar doesn't break in half. <laughs> I'm breaking things. I'm have to buy a new bar. A good bar. So 165. Plus 15 will give me 180. Good way right here. If I don't bend this bar, I break it. And uh, you have a little different camera angle for this one. All right, so this is going to be 15 pounds heavier, just a little something in my legs. Um, so it's not much of a jump, just a little jump, but those uh, keep jumping, it adds up. <laughs> I'm doing half the body today, and then uh, tomorrow I'll um, complete, complete everything. And this is the main event right here. That's it right here. 
might do around 12 reps, maybe more. But uh, can make sure I can get it off me. There's a lot of weight to be moving on your head like that. Trying to talk too much. Gather my energy. Gather my forces. It's not that heavy, not that big of a deal, but it is it is something. That's actually pretty decent to me. I think I've ever your head like that. But for as far as squat weight, it's still not not that much weight. So if you actually squatting, it's like I get more reps. Build up the volume. This is uh, 145, 165, 180. <clears throat> so it's more than last week. A lot more than last week. I feel ready. I'll give it just a little bit longer. Yeah, it's worth the wait um, to get that good set in, yeah. Um, instead of rushing through it and having a bad set, it's good to take your time with it and uh, make sure it's good.
All right, not too bad. Whew. Whew. It's about to take it out of you. Breathing. I got a little something here. I'm bar divot on my back. I'm not doing these regularly. Not too bad. I was actually shooting for maybe like 170 or something like that. <clears throat> but uh, I exceeded expectations here. <sighs> A little thought will do that. That was the main part of what I was uh, wanting to do. This is the main thing. So uh, I have the rest of the workout kind of generally planned out. Think about maybe doing a dumbbell front squat. It's hard to do a front squat. Some people do it and they hold it like that. But uh, I'm actually not that flexible in the upper body. I'm flexible in the upper body, but not specifically like that. So I do it like the bodybuilders do it, where you hold the front squat like that. So it's like difficult cleaning them up, but. Holding them up, I can hold them up like that. But holding it up like that might affect uh, tomorrow's workout, doing the uh, uh, chest and shoulders and triceps. So uh, I'm gonna do some uh, lunges and like some leg extensions. Uh, stiff leg big lift, sounds pretty good. Uh, more pull-ups and rows, maybe another back exercise. And um, <clears throat> some barbell curl and uh, some like dumbbell hammer curl. Right. Another set there. <clears throat> Well, I'm, um, I got this weight here. Might as well do like uh, bent over rows and uh, leg extensions and lunges. Nice one thirty.
commence à avoir l'heure. Actually, change the plans again. Do uh, a couple sets of uh, stiff legged deadlifts to uh, get the hamstrings in. Barbell. Not only that, baby laying around. Since I'm starting, kind of heavy, 1.30. Um, 1.30? Yeah. 1.30. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do like a couple reps and then I'm going to build from there. Okay. 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 I don't normally do that, but uh, wasn't too much danger. I picked it up and noticed right away. It's not like uh, doing bench press or like squats or something like that where you're like, whoa, maybe something's going on there. I got six sets of pull-ups already. Mm. My rows were pretty good last week and I haven't been doing rows all that much. So, um, just do these body weight rows. More convenient, more efficient. If you want to do a barbell squat, so I can get you tired for the rest of the workout. <sighs> Talking about the free weight basics. And uh, do this at a different angle, just to show a different angle here. <sighs> show it from the side of this next step. And uh, three sets will probably be good. And this one, this one's one, uh, stiff like a deadlift, where it um, stretches the hamstrings, builds strength in it. And uh, it's also very good. The barbell version is uh, very good for the knees. Um, builds like a lot of strength in the back of the knee. So the barbell uh, isolates the whole area, connects everything. Whereas dumbbell, like they're separate, the barbells 
solid to like build a um, chain, a connection. That's how it really stabilizes the uh, back of the legs. And uh, uh, take a long time to uh, um, to learn the form and everything. Uh, keep the knees like slightly bent. I like the dumbbell version a lot too. Gets a lot of really good definition and everything, but it's good to do the barbell version a lot too. Uh, I generally don't do it as much just because the dumbbells are just so convenient just to run up and grab the dumbbells like in the gym. But um, barbell's a good person too. <clears throat> a lot of times I do things for uh, convenience, you know, like what's available, you know, what's already ready and stuff like that, to keep the uh, workout flowing. And uh, avoid like setup time and stuff like that. That's good view. That one more. And uh, I actually like to look in the mirror, look at myself in the mirror, uh, make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Need to go get a better mirror. <coughs> 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 Come up to about like right there. Pump them in. And the last few. Kind of go more all the way. Nice one. In that area. Glute ham connection. Rest a minute or so. See if I can get pump out 15 reps on the next step. Now it's 12. The rest was 8 then 12. See if I can get 15 on the next one. It's actually quite a super set because um, there's a uh, rose right there. I'm going to put my feet on the bag and uh, pull up feet here, hands here. It's like a, a reverse plank, like a plank when you're doing push ups. Um, it gets that whole posterior chain of the uh, legs and back. And then I'm hitting the posterior chain right here. So it's getting uh, got a pretty nice pump. Whew, kind of working the same area twice. Top super set. Forearms are feeling the pump. Try to avoid the straps. The only time uh, I've done them in recent memory is uh, deadlifts. Um, doing like double overhand. Um, I'll do it over under sometimes, but um, uh, I generally don't like it as much. Those lifts there, I can go like that. I switch my grip up, uh, like kind of like that. Whereas double overhand is more stable. And then I just need the straps doing that one.
，没什么叫。Don't know, it's popping the girl. Hope that doesn't affect myself too much. I'll lay off in the next couple exercises. Lay off the girl anyway. <coughs> Fifteen movements. Pop them out. And the, oh yeah, that was a stiff like a deadlift. It's actually called the Romanian deadlift. I actually learned that just last week. Um, the stiff like a deadlift, you touch all the way to the ground and pick it up. Romanian, you don't go all the way to the ground. 
Never you get more of a pop. Keep it going. All right, well, one more set of those. So this actually gets the uh, quads and the hamstrings. I'm about to do some more. Just, just uh, back and forth, stepping. You'll see. Let's get up. Pull the old machine out. And uh, lunges, I can just do this way. Good with just uh, two sets of lunges there. 
So this set, need to make it count a little more. What was I going to say? I like those uh, doing that on the bow flex like that because it works each arm independently. Where it was um, uh, a lot of times with barbell or pull ups or something like that, you're working both at the same time so one side can take care of them or the other. Hmm. So it's actually pretty difficult to uh, work the back uh, independently like that. Um, that's why I love really like that one arm with a bow row. That's one of the few exercises that you can do it unless you have like a hammer strike machine or I don't seem like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and uh, yeah, that's right. Um, and so when I was doing the lunges, that uh, first set, I'll talk about it in a second. That first set, I was kind of uh, wobbling a little bit for a couple reps. But um, um, whereas it might not be too good, can uh, maybe you get injured that way, you get out of range of motion too much. But it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, to sometimes move around a little bit. That's one of the things about free weights as opposed to the machine. But the thing about that, when you move around, you build up all those muscles around it. And so you make your body 
Um, more secure as a whole. Um, you know, doing free rates where you occasionally like, move around a little bit, something like that, you work in the general area if you don't hurt yourself. And this is like a seated leg curl. A lot of times you do like seated and line leg curl before the uh, stiff legged deadlift. But uh, it's good to change things around too. Not that big of a deal. I feel those rows in my legs a lot. I wonder why. <laughs> Just kidding. And uh, right now, I'm just uh, keeping this up going. I'm going to finish this, and then I'll finish uh, most of the workout, and then I'm just going to do a little biceps, 
and um, um, just some light, light, light stretching. Actually, more like do like the side stretches, which is kind of like an exercise and work the inner and outer thighs at the same time as uh, a little flexibility. <clears throat> That won't take very long. Not long at all. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
the foam car, biceps. I got uh, 75 pounds right there. That's a good start. Probably best off just taking it this way. Um, when I do the uh, barbell curl, I like to uh, use my lats and like go like that and like that and use it kind of like like I'm using a preacher bar, like a preacher bench or something like that. Um, or like an easy bar curl where it just kind of holds it up like that. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, so it's talking about for the legs. Last little bit, stretch, and uh, I haven't worked in or never thought a little bit. Let's do a couple things. Nice pop. All right, all downhill from here. Won't be long at all. I wasn't going to talk about the UFC fights. 
Well, that tongue down a little bit. Or UFC in general. Uh, whole kind of worms with uh, conspiracy theories when you get into that. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if I can find all these colors. Got it. That was quick. Got one more set of uh, uh, bottle curl. But it's good to uh, go ahead and be thinking about the next exercise and getting set up before we get into it. So uh, next I'm going to do a dumbbell hammer curl. I was just going to do two. It'd be like the barbell and dumbbell hammer curl. But uh, a lot of good variations. But uh, these are good free weight exercises. <sighs> One more time. So I got 10, 12. Let's see if we can beat that. And uh, oh, I guess I'll send some more quick. Um, uh, when you're working out, a lot of times it's not how much you do, it's how you do it. Um, talking about one of my earlier videos. So if you set like a limit, like, okay, I'm going to do 10 reps. i um, work on like the best form as I can with those 10 reps. Uh, it can help a lot. You know, like you can slow it down, concentrate more, squeeze more, all that. Um, um, so it's just a little, one of those little tricks. Or, you know, pump them out as fast as you can. More, so a lot of times you pump them and you get a good burn. Six. 
stretching. Maybe your stretching is another workout. Whew, obviously burn. All right, almost done. Um, yeah, so here we go. Feeling nice little burn, not less that. Whew. And it was on the, uh, the end of the back workout, too. Uh, I was all the kind of stuff I can talk about. There's a lot of stuff with uh, a lot of tips and tricks and the uh, intricacies when I came on the way like that. <clears throat> Thinking like there's something I want to talk about, but I think I'd really get the set going. Oh yeah, that's right. So we're doing uh, back and bicep, legs, back and biceps. And so uh, sometimes people like to do back and triceps and uh, chest and biceps, because that way, um, it's like you do back and the triceps are totally fresh. To whereas like if you do back and biceps, the biceps are a little fatigued before you do it. But uh, doing like the one I'm doing is kind of the standard push pull in a lot of ways. But um, uh, this way, like if I did uh, back and triceps, well then I couldn't do uh, chest and shoulders very well tomorrow. So uh, it works out, there's a lot of give and take with uh, different uh, split routines and stuff like that. That's uh, a pretty good one. You can do it uh, twice a week, um, like this, go like um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then repeat it again, Thursday, Friday. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is gonna do, well, I'm actually doing Sunday, Monday, uh, but uh, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and Thursday or Friday do full body. But also do a lot of like martial arts and yoga work, which is uh, works like the body in a different way, full body. And then uh, probably run the bike a little bit. Probably gonna go running for a couple days or so after this. 
I was going to talk about the UFC. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of conspiracy theories and stuff. Probably rather not get into about that. But um, uh, yeah, I went to go see my uh, Taekwondo teacher uh, a few years ago. I think he's like close to grandmaster now. He was like master when I was working with him. But um, yeah, so we, we talked for a good while. But uh, uh, one of the one of the things he said, uh, so you like UFC? And then so UFC comes in waves. Like uh, I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I guess I kind of generally keep up with it, but um, it just depends on uh, who's fighting and stuff like that. And that was like, it was that time where I was like, yeah, it's all right. That's pretty good, you know? And he just looked at me like, ew. <laughs> so that, uh, that, can, that can say a lot. Um, I guess I can get all kinds of things about how it's like a sport and a martial art, and uh, you can get like a false sense of confidence um, being good at the sport. And those different on the street situation, but those guys are uh, very well conditioned and stuff like that, and they can go a very long ways being uh, conditioned and stuff like that. And your body conditioned for, um, you know, strength, cardio, and uh, ground mobility, and all that. But, uh, all right, one more set, and I guess I'll call it reps. <clears throat> What's that? Pretty good workout. Not too bad. And so, um, thanks for watching. And uh, tomorrow I will complete with the uh, with the other half, chest, shoulders, and triceps. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, interesting uh, workout videos in the future. All right, bye.